Welcome back to anyone who has been here before. Welcome to all the newcomers. And today I want to show you some items and I want to get fun with this. I brought my bee crazy bag. I have all my little bees around here on my bag. And when you know what I pull out of my bee crazy bag, I want you to shout the answer out. So let's get a little crazy. Shout it out. Make people look. Get silly. Now, if you're Elizabeth, who I know does these lessons before anyone often gets up in the morning at their house, you better not shout out. Or I mean, if you do, then you're at your own risk there. But the rest of you, yeah, let's get, let's let people know that we are going to be getting ready to study more of the Bible. So here we go. Shout out what you see. What do I have here? Yeah, it's a Nerf football. So any of that would have been fine. Let's see here, something else coming out of my bag. What do I have here? It's a hat. Pretty easy, huh? Let's see here. Might get, let's see if it gets any more complicated. You know what this is. It's a glue bottle or Elmer's glue. Let's see if we have anything else in my Be Crazy bag. There is something. What do I have here? Oh, yes. Okay. What's this? Be a little trickier. It's a Lego piece. Hopefully you got that. You're all doing a great job, I'm sure. This one might get a little harder. A little harder here. So I'm going to pull out something else. What do I have here? Now, you might have said that this is a puzzle piece, but what I really want to ask you is, what is this a picture of? Yeah, that gets a little trickier, doesn't it? Let's try another one. In fact, I'm going to take a few out. What do we have here? Another puzzle piece, I know. But again, what is this a picture of? Do you know? There's another one. Does that help? It's a little blue on it. If you can't see that, a little tan. This piece, oh, it's, oh, I'm grabbing it. This piece is, that's really dark green on it, and it looks like it may have some lines that could be some letters, I'm not sure. But we can look at all of these puzzle pieces really, really closely, but again, do you know what the picture is? I mean, yeah, puzzle pieces. But what is the whole picture? Any idea? It'd be a lot easier if we could figure out if we could see the picture of the whole box that the puzzle came in. And see, sometimes life is, it's like a puzzle. We think it's supposed to be simple and straightforward like those other things that I first showed you, the football and the hat. But sometimes it feels like everything is scattered about. Oh my. Like, this puzzle. I mean, right now, wow, this, this puzzle is really all scattered about, jumbled up in a big heaping pile. And you know what, sometimes I, I kind of feel like that's the way it is right now. Things are kind of scattered and confusing and in a big jumbled pile. And we can try to put it all together, but we don't, even know what it's supposed to look like in the end. We don't have the full picture. And see, in this week's lesson, we have the privilege of looking at Paul's second missionary trip. He had plans, but God showed Paul that his plans were not the same as God's. God had the full picture. Here's the thing. Those plans that Paul had ended up way bigger than what Paul could have ever imagined or expected. Thankfully, God has a plan for us. We may not understand it, but if we put our trust in Jesus, we can trust that it is better than anything we could have imagined or expected. And we shouldn't worry that it's not going to come together right away. Hmm, like this puzzle is not going to come together right away. But the good news is for us that God knows what the full picture of our puzzle is supposed to look out like. He holds the box in his hands. Isn't that beautiful? 